King Solomon tells us, Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. As we seek this wisdom, let us turn to the Church Fathers and say, Ava, give me a word that I may live. Oftentimes in our lives, we go through the motions of life feeling we are missing something. In the midst of all the busyness of our day-to-day needs, whether it be our work, our schools, our family life, we find ourselves often distracted and barely able to squeeze some time with God. And because of that, we often also tend to feel like our prayers are a little dry. And as a consequence, we also easily become saddened and distressed by the affairs of life and the difficulties we encounter. St. Gregory the Theologian in Oration 17 He mentions that sometimes we'll go through a difficulty in our life and we find no comfort in friends, we find no comfort in words, we find no comfort in anything. But then he gives us a solution. He says to us, just take the first step. Comfort is near on your lips and in your heart. I remembered God, says the psalmist, and rejoiced. What could be easier than remembering You too remember and rejoice. The remedy is so simple, the cure so fast, the gift so magnificent. The remembrance of God not only lulls the sense of desolation and anguish, but also gives rise to joy. St. Gregory here tells us simply to remember God is a quick cure, a fast cure. Simply to remember God is a simple remedy. And this remedy, he says to us, brings joy. And so let us train ourselves to remember God in our lives. In the midst of our day, train ourselves to remember Him often. Set for yourselves triggers that will cause you to remember Him. For example, I can train myself and say to myself, every time I go through a door, I will remember God. I will remember Him every time I go through a door by saying, a very short prayer, a two to three second prayer. Like for example, my Lord Jesus Christ, I love you. My Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Or the Jesus prayer, my Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. And so I use a short prayer to remember God. And if I do this throughout the day, how many doors do I go through? How many times do I pass through a doorway? And so despite the busyness, Despite the difficulties of life, despite the responsibilities, despite the needs of others, I will find myself pausing for two to three seconds, raising my heart to God and remembering Him. In this very remembrance, St. Gregory the theologian tells us, gives rise to joy, a joy that we are all searching for, a joy that only comes from above. And so let us remember God and find joy. 